Let's talk briefly about security and performance. The two often overlap because areas of your site that are non-performant can be exploited by attacks and take your site down. Similarly, open vulnerabilities can cause your site to be used in ways you didn't anticipate and directly affect performance. Performance in Drupal basically boils down to how fast a page loads and how many users can be using the site at a time before things start getting slow. Drupal 8 has several mechanisms built in to improve performance out of the box. Let's take a look at the big ones. The first is CSS and JavaScript aggregation. These are turned on by default, but often you'll turn these off when doing development for a site. We can get to it by going to Configuration, Development, and Performance, and it's down here at the bottom. So it says Aggregate CSS Files, Aggregate JavaScript Files. Let's take a look at the implication here. I'm going to open up DevTools in Chrome, and I'm going to go to the Network tab, and I'm going to refresh the page. At the bottom here, you can see how many files got requested when this page loaded. In this case, it was 32. If we turned off aggregation of CSS and JavaScript, I'm gonna save the configuration, it jumps up to 169. In the front end development video collection on Build a Module, we talk extensively about the implications of merging multiple files into a single file to reduce the number of files that get downloaded from the server. One factor in how fast a page loads is how big the files are that are being downloaded. But sometimes, an even more important factor is how many files are being downloaded. So this says the total download was 743 kilobytes. This file size across 169 files is going to download quite a bit slower than 40 files, for example. So ultimately, when you go live, you're going to want to make sure that these are turned on. Now we're going to leave these turned on, but let's make a note to come back here and check to make sure that they're on before we go live. So I'm going to go back to our before going live text file where we're keeping notes of things we need to do before we go live. We're going to make sure that the CSS and JS aggregation is turned on. Let's save configuration to make sure that these are turned on again. I'll close out DevTools. 